Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and today we're going to be checking out the TBM 930 again. It's been a while since I've been in it. This will be a new aircraft that I'll be creating a guide for. <clears throat> now today we're sort of just going to get into it, try to remember how to start this thing and uh, enter in a quick flight plan. We're going to be uh, going from uh, Tampa Bay, Florida here over to uh, Fort Lauderdale. And uh, so quick flight, nothing uh, too crazy here. Um, we're going to try to keep it pretty simple and then uh, just sort of work things out as we go. This is not necessarily tutorial, just sort of sharing things as I go. Um, again, just a familiarization flight, if you will. It's been a while since I've been in it, so I figured what the heck I'd share the experience with you guys. If you learn something with it, that's awesome. If not, well, you know, hopefully more will come. Like I said, I will be doing a tutorial guide on this just like I've done with the A320. Uh, now, um, the guide will also cover the G3000 as it's pretty critical in order to fly this aircraft. So, you know, again, as I go along, as I learn more and more, then I'll start actually doing full tutorial videos. But today I'm just sharing things with you. Um, for anyone who's interested in it, I do have the A320 Guide version 2 launched. Um, you can uh, grab it by going to my Patreon site down uh, below. The other thing you can do is if you go to my channel homepage, there is a donation page via PayPal. If you guys submit uh, a donation um, of at least I would like to say $10 or more, it's what everyone else is basically paying for it, um, I will also send you the link that way. If you don't want to subscribe to Patreon, I can send you the doc via um, email. So anyway, just a couple different options for you guys. Um, and uh, I do appreciate all the support the Patreon site is getting. It has taken off the last couple of days. You guys cannot, I, I can't put into words how much that means. That doc took a lot of time to make, um, a, a lot of banging my head and, and fighting with documents and fighting with the simulator. And so the support and the response that I'm getting from it is just really, really heartwarming um, at a at a very negative time of, of, of the year, right? So, you know, being with everything that's going on around us. So <laughs> you guys really have made my day the last couple of days. It really feels good, so thank you. All right, mushy moment gone. Let's go ahead and jump into the seat. And actually, the first thing I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have our uh, tug here um, get us out of here a little bit. We're, uh, we're a little close to the edge. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, have him come and move our plane out of the way. Uh, you know what, the parking brake's on. That's gonna be a problem. Go ahead and bring the crash bar up, bring the battery on, the main gen on. And like I said, we're just going to let him sort of get us out of here a little bit. We're, we're a little close. Although, what is he doing? Where, where are you going there, Thunder? Uh, okay, that was different. Pause system test. Okay. All right, and let's have him sort of turn us out over here. God, he's really pushing us back quick. That's crazy. All right, I think that's good. Um, okay. I guess it's he just sort of lets go. <laughs> like here, good luck. Okay, um, not the best pushback, but you know it worked. All right, let's go ahead and set our parking brake back up. Let's okay. clear that guy for a second, and let's go ahead and first get some power rolling. Uh, get the engine started. Like I said, not everything's going to be by the book. We're just going to sort of get things going as we get it here. Um, all right, so I've got our push bar or our crash bar up. We've got the battery uh, set as our power source. We got the generator set to main. <clears throat> Landing gear is obviously confirmed down. MFD is initialized. Uh, our fuel on board is already checked, so we're good there. I'm not too worried about that. Um, again, pretty short flight. All right, sorry, I had a little hiccup in the recording there. Not sure what happened here. All right, so let's go ahead and get our ignition switch into the auto position. Auxiliary boost pumps to on. Actually, we'll just set it to, actually, leave it there for now, I guess. Propeller area is clear. Give a nice clear prop out the window. And let's go ahead and get the engine started. So we're going to go ahead and hold the starter for two seconds. All right. Looking for 13% on the uh, NG there. 
There's 13. Oh, let me get a better camera view here. That's not going to work. And let's get our throttle into low idle. Looking for both to be in the green, the NG and the uh, inlet temperature. There we go. Let's go ahead and move it to high idle and then take it over to flight idle. Let's clear our warnings. Verify the starter turned off. Starter did turn off. Let's get our boost bumps into auto. Um, now I should have actually had the uh, fuel selector down to manual for the startup, so that was my fault there. Um, missed that one, I just caught that. And then we can go ahead and turn our autopilot trim on. We'll go ahead and turn the nav lights on. And just go ahead and put the taxi light on, just make sure everyone walking past knows the aircraft's active. Since we're sort of in the out in the open here. Go ahead and do a shift test real quick. No warnings. Let's go down to our bleed switch and set it to auto. Set our AC, it's a little warm in here. Turn the initial separator on. Pedo heaters. I don't need any de-ice, I think, today. And I think that will be good for what we're looking for at the moment. Like I said, fuel selectors are already set to auto, so we're not worried about that. And all that is is um, if you don't, if you have it set to manual, you just have to manually swap the tanks, just like you do some of the older aircraft. And then uh, you'll get a fuel imbalance up here on the uh, warning page here. All right, so fuel quantity, we've got about 72 gallons per tank here. Electrical amps and volts are looking good in the green. There's a separator on, yeah, and actually that's a little early for that. We'll wait till we taxi out for that one. Alright, torque is good, RPM is good, NG is good, and inlet temperature is stable. Alright, so now let's go ahead and program our flight plan. Alright, so all I did was make a quick flight plan in sim brief. Again, just selecting the TBM 900 series. And uh, that will go into much further detail as we get, as I get better with this aircraft. Uh, let me find, still getting used to the quick view, sorry guys. There we go, that's better. Alright, so we have our MFD, this is going to be our flight plan display here. Let's go into the MFD menu here. And we're going to go to flight plan. And just like, it's actually pretty intuitive when you look at it. So obviously we need to add our starting location, which is going to be Kilo Tango Papa Alpha, is that right? actually never flown out of here before. It's been kind of fun. And then just like any other aircraft, we're going to set our destination. And that's going to be Kilo Foxtrot Lima Lima. Okay, so we got, this is a direct route now that just plays on the MFD. But we need to add now a couple more things. So let's go ahead and go back for a minute. And we're going to add our procedures. So we have our departure procedure. And we're going to be coming out of runway. Let me get to my routing here on my flight plan. 01 left is what it wants us to take, so we'll go ahead and runway 1 left. And we're going to be looking at the Gandhi 8 SID. There's the Gandhi 8. And let me look at our Navigraph and determine what our transition is. So, oh, that's from previous flight. So let's see here, where did I say we are? We are at Kilo Papa Tenga Alpha, is that what I said? Nope. That's not what I said. Where the heck am I? Oh. Kilo Tango Papa Alpha. There we go. Alright, let's open up the book. And let's find our SID. Looking for the Gandhi 8. And let's see what our transition is. It looks like Sabi. Let's move that off. And I think Sabi was already selected, so we're good there. So now we can just hit load. Alright, so there's our departure loaded in. 
And so let's go back to the, now we need to go to select our arrival. And again, I'm not going to be using um, ATC today, so I don't have to worry about that changing today. And so on our arrival, if we go back to our routing, we're going to be looking at the Jingle 6. So let's go ahead and find that. Oops. Sorry, I, I want to use the mouse cursor so bad. There we go. There it is, there's the Jingle 6. And again, let's find our transition point. So this one is Kilo Foxtrot Lima Lima. Again, let's open the book. And we're looking at our star. There's the Jingle 6 RNAV arrival. I would certainly hope it's out of the limits. Uh, let's see here. What am I looking for? All right, and and it is the bags. All right, so we're coming in off the. Well, let's see here. Are we using the bags transition. Let's check our detailed waypoints. I don't know why I didn't think about that sooner. Uh, we're going direct to Rixan. No, so Rixan is going to be our transition right here. All right, so let's find that. Oh, they don't have it. Interesting. Am I looking at this wrong? So Fort Lauderdale. There's into the airport. We have bags here, but we're not actually using bags. We're supposed to be flying direct to Rixan. What are my options? A bulk. Okay, so I guess it would be bulk then, but let me check here. So if we check our flight plan, Rick San going straight to Fordle. So we're not actually using a transition, it doesn't look like. Now that I have not figured out how to set up. And our runway, why is it not giving me a chance to change the runway either? I wonder if it's because I selected... Let's back up a bit. Let's go back to home here, go back to procedures, let's try that again. Uh, it's all runways use the same thing, huh? That doesn't make sense. Alright, well, we'll go ahead and use the bags, so we'll ignore... Well, let's, let's use bulk, because that has us come in the closest, I think. So we'll use the bulk, and we'll load it. There we go, and the approach is our... We are looking for... Go back up. Routing here. 10 left. So cool. We got the 10 left approach. Alright, so you want to load it, but we don't want to activate it. Alright. So now we need to go back to our flight plan. And we need to add our. Oh, did it again. Gosh. I want to use the mouse wheel so bad. I need to change that. Alright, so from here, this looks like what would be a discontinuity. So we're going to add waypoint. And we're going direct to Rixen. R X X Alpha November. Enter. All right, there we go. So from Sabi to Rixen. Oh, I did it again. Looks like we're good to go now. Twenty-two thousand feet. Why does it have us going to twenty-two thousand feet? Is that a restriction? I only set our... Eh, we can go up to 22,000, that's fine. I had set the restriction sim brief to 19,000, but that's fine. Because we're only looking at... Well, actually we got quite a bit of distance to go. Alright, so now, that's, that's our flight plan entered. We got our procedures in. Let's go ahead and back up, and one of the cool things we can do here, oh, all right, is hit the wrong button like a dork. There we go, that'll work. Click on this guy, so I just left clicked on it, and then now we can move the cursor around, as you can see there, and you sort of have to drag it. A little touchy. Let's see where this takes us, and actually let's zoom out a bit. Doesn't look too bad. And if we move the mouse, like for example, over here, and then zoom back in. Oh, no, I guess I have to drag it over. 
thought it would zoom in on the mouse. Thought I remembered it doing that, but that's alright. And bring it in. So it's relatively straight in approach. It's actually not bad at all. That's going to work out nicely. All right, so that's all I've got for the startup. We got our fuel. We got our flight plan entered. And now we're just going to go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to bring up... What was that? KTPA, right? Let's go ahead and grab that. Let's go ahead and put it in the favorites. Oh, I don't think I put it in the favorites. There we go. Now I put it in the favorites. Let's go to our taxi info, zoom in a bit, and see where we are. And what do we say we're departing on? I already forgot what it was. How bad is that? We're departing on one left. Okay, so we're coming... Let's see here. We're, if that's one right... Ah, oh, wow. That's, that's a ridiculous taxi. So I'll tell you what. Let's, um, let's switch that. Let's depart on one right. I don't think that that's going to affect our flight plan much. So if we just zoom in here, go back here and go to flight plan. And nope, I want procedures actually. Go to procedures, the Gandhi 8, change our departure runway to one left. Yeah, okay, cool, we're good. And just load that. There we go. Oh no, I wanted one right. Why did I do that? Come on, guys, you're supposed to be helping me out here. There we go. One right, load. All right. And let's go back. Okay, um, and let's set our speed bugs real quick. Uh, let's see here, so where am I? Speed bugs, we want our rotate. And then this is our best rate of climb. And let's see here, did I have that right? I always get these mixed up, give me a second here. I don't want to tell you guys wrong here. One of them's rate, and one of them is uh, most efficient. So let me get up to that here. Let me just do this. Find. VX. I'll take it. There we go. Best angle of climb is VX. Best rate of climb speed is VY. That's what I was looking for. Okay. So we got that good. Oh my gosh. You guys aren't going to believe it. That was right where I needed to be. Alright. So let's go ahead and get rolling here. So we're going to use VR and let's go ahead and use. Let's use best angle of climb. So we're going to be looking at 100 knots. And then we'll set our... Uh, approach speed. We'll want that as well. Alright. So now, I think we are ready to go ahead and taxi out of here. Alright, so let's see, we've already got our taxi light on, panel lights we're not worried about right now, everything else looks good. Um, last minute checks here. We have that on. De-icing system. We shouldn't need the. De well, actually, yeah, we probably will, but we'll, we'll keep an eye on it for now. We got our pedo heats on. You know, if it's using live temperature, we actually probably will need it. Okay, so DI system, inertial separator on. Flight controls are checked. Test check. Flaps up. MFD flight plan is set. <sighs> Weather radar. I'm not going to worry about today. Taxi lights are on. Let's go ahead and make our way out to the runway. Let's release the parking brake. And let's get her rolling a little bit. Yeah. 
Yes, I know. really fun little plane. I love this plane. It's always been a good time to fly it. I remember really enjoying it. I think it would be a fun addition to the to the guides that I have that I'm making. It's it's a nice in between. You know, you get that sort of that GA feeling without, you know, losing all the bells and whistles. She's fast. Flies high. You can get all the way up to I think it's 36,000 feet. I think is the ceiling for this aircraft. Um, so I mean, she she gets up there. Uh, the turbo props are always pretty cool. Now I am using a uh, mod that somebody was making for quite a while. Link will be in the description below. Unfortunately, it seems like he had to stop making it due to um, uh, work. He uh, moved to a different location, was unable to uh, use the flight simulator anymore. So that's a real shame because he was doing a fabulous job with it. I really, I really love this aircraft. Um, I've been focusing so much on the A320, you know, and getting all the guide uh, pages together and whatnot that I uh, just haven't had much time to fly much else, you know, between all the other videos and things. So tonight I was just like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to get back up in this thing, and I just decided I'd share it with you guys. <clears throat> um, some pretty cool stuff that uh, I have coming our way. Pilot to ATC, I've been working with it, learning it. Uh, I don't want to do a review on it until I can really confidently you know explain it and how it works you guys know how I like to do my uh, videos it's more than just a hey this is great but showing you the functionality and until I feel comfortable completing the functionality myself I obviously don't want to try to demonstrate it so um, that is a really fast taxi let's slow you down a little bit there we go anyway so we got the pilot to ATC and I can tell you right now it's a very nice compromise to the um, in-game ATC. I, I hate the in-game ATC. I really do. And, you know, I love the simulator. I'm not trying to, you know, just badmouth the sim. I really do love it. Um, but it's just, uh, the ATC is terrible. It really is terrible. Um, so it's a nice compromise to it. And then there's another add-on that I just found that uh, does the MEDAR information uh, in the sim. It actually brings up a window right here. Um, I don't have it installed yet. Um, I was just doing some reading on it and found it this afternoon, so I'll be adding that as well. Um, and then uh, just continuing to go through the ads and, and uh, news as it comes out. Uh, the news is a little stale right now. Uh, after my last two videos, it's kind of just waiting for more information to come down the line. Sorry, I had to wet the whistle there. Um, but uh, So hopefully, hopefully we get some good... Some good stuff coming down the line here soon, and I'm, I'm really excited to get uh, get some of these new planes that are coming out. And once again, I got taxing like a bat out of hell. Almost to the whole short line here. Let's just hold her here for the minute. All right, so now let's set our takeoff laps. Let's bring up the pulse light, strobe light. Get that going. One quick check here. Uh, I should probably get our altimeter, huh? 
I have live weather turned on, so by the off chance it's working, let me go ahead and, and find that. So where are we again? We're at KTPA. Alright, so we have altimeter pressure of 3012 right now. Okay. And that set both sides. It did. Good. Alright guys, let's uh let's get rolling here. And before we get off the ground, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn my head tracker on here. Alright, got the head tracker up and running, making sure our nav source is the flight computer. Uh, looks like it is. Looks like we're good. Yep, nav one, bulk to Ryan. Alright. And let me just... Oh, nope, active nav, VOR, we don't want that. Two, FMS, there we go, that's what we want. Alright. So let's go ahead and power up. Use the brakes. Take off power set. Looking for 90 knots. There's our rotate. Come on, baby. You're coming up. Flaps up. See if I can get this autopilot turned on if I remember how to do it. Whoa, what are you doing? I cut off throttle. Got to set our altitude all the way up to our 19,000 feet. Darn it, I knew it was going to do that.
Okay. Altitude set. We're on flight plan. Looking good. Sorry, I hope that sound wasn't echoing that whole time, guys. Now, a few things I'm aware that I didn't do. I didn't set the, uh, uh, the transponder um, and some of the little side instruments like that. Like I said, I wasn't too worried about that today. Just sort of getting back in the aircraft, feeling, feeling her out. Right on path here. like 19 minutes to the next waypoint. Uh, let's bring the prop RPM back a bit. It's taking the torque back, but it's not setting the RPM back. I feel like the RPM should be coming back if I remember correctly. Maybe I'm mistaken on that. I mean, it, it's in the green sector, but man, barely. So I guess I'll leave it alone, but. Gorgeous. Since we can turn the taxi light off. Definitely don't be afraid to jump into some of these planes, guys. You know, if you haven't flown them, never tried them out before, give them a shot. You know, I mean, the nice thing about the simulator is it's, it's really forgiving, even for us newbies. Um, now, obviously, I want to get much more authentic with flying this aircraft. Um, I know this is that I'm not that I'm not anywhere close to where I should be in today's flight. I'm very much so not flying the way I should be. Um, but uh, we'll get there. We'll definitely get there. I feel like that camera angle is just super low, but it, maybe not. Like, there we go. If I sit up perfectly straight, like this, yeah, let's try this. There we go. That's better. Alright, so we got quite a bit of climb ahead of us. We're going all the way up to uh, 19,000 feet. And then uh, let's see if I can let's see what our total flight time here is. Flight time today, we are looking at. That's uh, final reserves. You know, honestly, I always forget where it is on the flight plan. Top of climb, da da da. Let's scroll up here. Mm 
Well, let's do this. Let's go to Simbrief. I know it's up there. Estimated gate arrival, estimated touchdown time, estimated takeoff time, air distance, oh, maybe. Wind direction. Takeoff. Weather prognosis. OFP release time. Well, so we can do estimated takeoff to estimated touchdown. So let's take a look at that. So estimated takeoff was 0540 and touchdown is 639. So about an hour flight time, give or take. Interesting is we're climbing so much faster than what I expected, unless we should really be nose higher. I guess I can just bring the vertical speed up. Let's see what happens. Uh, oh, I hate this thing. Oh, you know what? Let me use my handy dandy tool here. Let her keep on going. Alright, so we switched the altimeter over to standard here. Back to altitude. Oh, it's already switched. Good. Coming up on our cruise altitude. What's that about? Do we have a weird... What is this is all about? Let's check our flight plan for a second. It's Murdo. remove bulk there we go that's what was going on oh hey where are you going no 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 uh oh messed something up it's trying to go to Murdo let's just go to Sabi I think we got it. I think it's just going to Murdo and then we'll turn left. Yep, okay, so it's just getting us back on the flight plan because I made that adjustment. Alright, cool. Well, that wasn't too bad. Learned something new, right? 
Alright guys, so we're going to be up at cruise altitude here for quite a bit here. Uh, let's go back. Oh, stop doing that. Okay, I'm done with you. Why are you still showing up? There we go. 19,000 feet. Let's go all the way up at 22,000 feet. Oh, that's right. We were going to go 22,000, weren't we? Alright, well, let's go ahead and change that. Darn it. Here we go again. Oh, I just put it back. Remember how we make it, how I make it go back into climb mode. I don't think it's just a matter of using vertical speed. I really don't. Darn it. Bank. That's what we're going to do, I guess. So like I said, definitely I have definitely a lot to learn here um, but I'm looking forward to it I love the interface I think the the uh, flight computer interface is really cool I know there's a ton more I can do with it um, so I'm, I'm kind of excited to see how that all comes together as, as I start learning it so I hope you guys will be along for that ride <clears throat> um, any tips and tricks by the way guys please put them in the description below I'm, I'm like I said I'm I'm a pretty humble person, I like to think I am anyway. Uh, uh, I have no problem admitting when I'm wrong. I have no problem hearing that there's a better way to do something than the way I'm doing it. So um, if you guys have any guides that already exist or good tutorials, let me know. You know, I'd like to build on that. So, I mean, we're all here to learn. So let me know. I hope everybody's getting ready for the holidays and uh, hopefully got all your Christmas shopping done for those who celebrate. No, it's crazy times. Uh, look at this cockpit. This cabin looks cool. I'm trying to, I was trying to turn around and get a better view, but I guess it's not going to give me that. All right, so that part's still cool. So as you approach your target altitude, so I guess you do have to use the vertical speed to select your climb rate, but then once you get in range of your target altitude it automatically switches over to altitude hold so that's pretty cool I'm um, in many ways that seems more efficient to me than some of the other some of the other aircraft I guess it depends all right so we're coming up on Rickson we got 14.3 let's see how we're doing over here Oops, I hate that so much. Does it give me a display range? I 
Track 167 degrees, ground speed 287 knots, estimated time 2 minutes 30 seconds to arrival, bearing 169, distance 11 miles. Um, ETA 1328 UTC, I'm guessing that's ETA to the waypoint. Heading up mode, that's fine. Zoom this around. I'm looking for anything that's changing, telling me what the what the current scale is. I don't, I don't see anything. So it must not be on, on the on the display there. If there is, let's go back to the MFD. Um, so yeah, increase the range in and out, but doesn't tell me what the range scale is. At least that I'm seeing. I mean, it could be right in front of my face for all I know. I'm, like I said, obviously very green to this aircraft. Although there's 75 nautical miles. Is that what I'm looking at? Is that what's changing? There we go. Okay, so that is what that is. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Alright, so what are we looking at here? So that's 75 nautical miles. 50 nautical miles. Okay, so we're about we're about 100 miles. 100 miles, give or take, from our destination. So I'll tell you what, guys. Um, I'm going to... Let's see, when's our, what does it think our top of descent should be? At Holid, all the way down to Peon. Ah, uh, that doesn't seem right. We're going to descend 15,000 feet, and, or 18,000 feet. It's got us at Nova at 18,000 feet. That, that's, that's not going to work. So I'm thinking... Alright, so we're at 19,000 feet. We're doing 212 knots. Where are you turning to? What are you doing? Where are you going? Okay, we have a problem here. Let's let's figure out what's going on. So Rickson, why is it turning around? Should be going to Fornal. Activate what leg? And then Sabi. Let's just remove it. I'm not sure what's going on here. See, it's like going the wrong direction. Hmm. I guess that doesn't make much sense to me how that all happened like that. Oh, you know what? I never hit done on the flight plan entry, did I? I wonder if that's what it didn't like. What you can even do. Enter. There we go. Alright, so. These are the things we learn, I guess. I probably could have picked about 9,000 better ways of learning this, but, you know, I like to do things difficult. I'm a glutton for punishment. Alright, so it looks like now we're, we're on route to where we need to be. So, I'm going to go ahead and actually set what I was going to do before. Activate that leg. Why is it doing that? See? I guess let's go direct to. Go. Alright, so we'll do that, and then... I would assume that it should take the very next... Alright, so if you guys, I hope some of you guys are commenting like crazy down below, help me, helping me figure out what, why that didn't work, that didn't make sense. If I set, so this is the leg, that's what's going on, I bet. But when I set Fordal as the leg, it still tried to take me back here, tried to reverse the course. So why did I have to set it direct? Hmm. Yeah, I guess this sort of doesn't make much sense to me. I'm going to have to do a lot of research on the on the flight computer. 
But anyway, guys, so um, I'm going to go ahead and let us just cruise for a bit, and then I will come back to you guys when we start getting to the approach, assuming that I haven't crashed into a UFO or something like that. All right, I'll see you guys in a few. All right, so we're about 40 miles out. We're going to start our descent here. So I'm going to go ahead and set us down to basically to the bottom here. Actually, let's just use this. Okay, 1,600 feet. And let's start our descent. Oops. Send it about 2,000 feet per minute. Let's pull that throttle back. Sorry about that. Alright, approaching 18,000 feet. Let's switch back to the barrel. Oh, that just resets it. I see. I'm going to set it to 3006 for Fort Lauderdale. Oops. And let's check our approach chart here. Zero point one. Well, these are the actual radios. Where's the nav radios? It's COM one, COM two, standby. There we go. Oh, yep, already set. Cool. All right, groovy. on approaching 10,000 feet so we got visual on the runway out there
scent still looking good. Alright, there's 10,000. A little high, actually. I think we'll be okay. 10 miles. Well, we're not quite 10 miles, I guess. Let's put that nose down a little bit harder. Hopefully I can slow her down in time. Figure at no veil. Set the uh, ILS as our nav source. Anything else I need to do on the autopilot here? It looks like an approach mode. Active is localizer one. Looks like it's got it. Oh my gosh, we are so high. Yeah, it's not going to work. Okay, so let's go ahead and spin it around. Let's go ahead and go into heading mode. And start slowing that descent. Oop. That so much. Let's keep turning the heading around. Zero nine seven is what we're looking for. Get us back on that localizer here in a minute. Flaps take off. We can drop the gear now. And let's get us back on that approach. Approach speed, I think, is 75 knots, is that right? 85 knots, what we should be looking at for approach speed. 
All right, so I'll tell you what, I'm gonna disengage the autopilot here, go full flaps and see if I can't get us on, on the course here. Let's disengage the approach mode. Come on, girl. See if I can't fix this mess I've created. Whoa. Bumpy weather. Bumpy weather. Wow. shallow. There we go. I also don't know how sensitive those papi lights are. I've noticed in quite a few different approaches they tend to be really touchy. Gosh, this weather is brutal. Looks like we got a nasty crosswind. Getting high and fast. Got the high fix, got the speed fixed. Let's see if we can get it on the mark here. Throttles to idle. Oof. Reverse prop. Clean up the aircraft. All right, that's kind of a fun approach. Learned a thing or two. Need to get better with the throttle. This uh, prop is is much different than what I'm used to. That's for sure. Let's see if I can sit back here. There we go. That. Oh no! Tax light on. Strobe light off. Pulse light off. Should have stopped a little further ahead, but that's all right. Only you guys are judging me. Take her over here. I think as weird as the nose wheel steering on it, like it's just really not responsive. Like, well, I guess there it is. I have to really kick those rudders over in this plane. Uh, that nose wheel, I should say. Where, in like the A320, I had to reduce the sensitivity. I'm about to go over this grass spot. Oh well, damn it. Didn't pay attention to that taxi route. Oh well. More to learn, like I said. More to learn. I'm trying to do like differential braking with it and I don't think that seems to be doing it. That's unique. All right. All right, let's go ahead and 
Okay, here. All right, let's get that parking brake set. Whew. Mercy, man. All right, so let me shut that up. There's a lot of things that I clearly need to learn with this aircraft. Um, I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. I think creating the guide for this one's going to be a lot of fun. I think it's going to be tough because of the G3000. The G3000 is really going to really going to require a lot of uh, screenshots and documentation but I think um, once we get it I think it's going to be really nice to have so um, we're clear we're parked let's go ahead and see about shutting everything down here so I'm going to go ahead and disable the head tracker don't need it now it just gets in the way when we're doing things like this let me get this thing off all right now let's see what we got here. So let's start with our external lights here. Uh, which one brings me up top? There we go. So let's turn the nav lights off, taxi light off. Set for my nav lights. Interior lights I've already got turned off. Oxygen I forgot to turn on. So congratulations guys, I never actually made it here. I died of hypoxia. Um, it's always rough. Autopilot trimming, let's turn that off. Bleed switch. Turn the bleed switch off. There we go. Throttle to flight idle. Flight idle set. Throttle to low idle. Well, it's supposed to sit for two minutes. Well, it's been about two minutes, right? So let's move this guy back. There we go. There's low idle. And throttle to cut off. There we go. All right, engine's coming down. Initial separator off. Auxiliary boost pumps. Uh, let's go back up top. Uh, there we go. And turn these other boost pumps off. Let's clear the caution. There we go. Generator and battery off, it looks like. So I can just hit the crash lever, I think, right? There we go. And do one quick check here. So oh, ignition, I think, should be also set to off for the next start. Set fuel pumps back to manual, or fuel selector back to manual. Nav lights off, pull the dot dot dot. Alright. Fuel selector on the left tank, flaps are up. Oh, shame on me. Icing system is still on. Okay, I think we are good to go. All right, guys. Well, that was a special flight, to say the least. I hope you guys at least learned a thing or two, or at least uh, hopefully spiked an interest to get into a new plane. And uh, there'll be more of this aircraft to come, as well as the A320 continued. So uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. Bye-bye.